have cement in your boots back there or what? Just carrying the heavy burden that is your career. What was that? Moving as fast as I can. Hey, man, you sure they ain't got some kind of underground tunnel for VIPs? Yes, I checked twice. And I just don't want somebody recognizing me and causing a scene. <laughs> I'll just cry. That's right. Here we go. I love your music. And I love you. Where have you been? Uh, you had those two huge albums and then disappeared. That's right. Uh, he, August hasn't gone anywhere. Actually, he's performing in Cebu this weekend. Oh, wow. Hey, thanks, hey, bro. Maybe ask first. Yeah. Big fan, big fan, man. Oh, this crow, I love yeah. you. What are you doing here? Oh, the show? Yeah, yeah. It's fan. OK, oh, it's time that we leave. Let's go. Oh, wow. OK. This crow, Yeah, OK. All right. Hey. Nice to see you. Oh, hey. Oh. Hey. Get back here, damn it. Give me my hat, kid. Kid's got my hat. Go after him. Uh, Mr. August Crow. Yeah, that's me. We're here to escort you to the police station. Well, police station? Hang on. What are you talking about? Yes, sir. Let's go. I... Chill. August, what have you done this time? My name is Alex Walker. I'm ex-DEA. I quit the agency because my friend and partner betrayed me. One of my first assignments took me to an isolated beach right here on this island. Sold what little I had and bought myself a gift shop. Just peace, no stress, no drama. Boy, was I wrong. So am I under arrest? Because I'm the one missing a hat. We brought you here for your own safety. Hell, the only one that needs protection is the kid that ran off with my damn hat. What August is saying is that it's been a long trip, Captain Ocampo, and we'd love to get to our hotel as soon as possible. Have you heard of the Soloco kidnappers? <sighs> it says they go after celebrities and visiting dignitaries. They've successfully committed kidnappings on six different islands here in the Philippines over the last three years. I think I saw a travel warning, but I didn't see anything like that happening in this part of the Philippines. They go where all the good targets show up. <laughs> and you think I'm a good target? Well, hell, I guess I ain't called my accountant lately. You need to take this threat seriously. Jeez, is he... Trying to kidnap your client? Yes. Oh, but I don't know. I mean, he might be coming in for a selfie. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's a gun. So now you can understand our concern? Uh, listen. And I appreciate y'all looking out for me. I do. All right? But I'm a man of the people. I mean, I can't be walking around with the police pushing my fans out of the way. Yeah, he has an image to maintain. That's right. We have a full team working behind the scenes. You won't see them. But there is someone I would like you to have by your side. This right here. I didn't know you played guitar. We should jam sometime. Yeah, well, a little more of a solo act, I think. Oh, what a surprise. So what's up? You guys here to load up on postcards, or is it a professional visit? Official business. Ocampo sent us to ask no, ab you. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But you don't even know what we were going to ask. I don't care what you're going to ask, OK? For the first time, my bills are paid, and I got nothing to do. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to do nothing. So we can't say anything to convince you to come work with us? Nope. Thank you. What? What was that? She bet me we were wasting our time here. I mean, it's fine, Alex. I mean, we don't need you on this. It was Ocampo who wanted you, but, uh, I knew you'd say no. I know, but since it was the bodyguard of country music star... Wait, what are you talking about, country music star? Not like one of you... Are you an American country music star? Yeah. What's his name? 
had a hit song like 10 years ago, something about an animal, Lonely Coyote. Are you talking about Lone Wolf? Are you talking about August Crow? The August Crow? Yep, that's him. August Crow is in the Philippines. You guys want me to, you want me to bodyguard August Crow? Why, your fan? I saw August Crow. Is he smiling? Definitely a smile, teeth and everything. I mean, damn. All right. All right. Hang on, just... Mr. Walker. Hi. You can call me Alex. Shelton DeWay, August manager. Now you guys are acquainted? I'll leave you guys to it. Appreciate your help, detectives. Come on in. Thank you. All right. August is expecting you. But I will say he is in a bit of a mood. Yeah. Oh, don't anybody in this country know how to make a decent cowboy hat? August, this is Alex Walker. He will be your security detail. Yeah, it's a pleasure, sir. I got to tell you, I'm a big fan. Oh, that's a biscuits and gravy accent if I've ever heard one. Oh, well. Alex, it's a pleasure to meet you. I want you to know it's, it's, it's an honor to keep you safe, Mr. Crow. Oh, hell, man. You call me August. I don't trust no one who goes by Mr. Now. More importantly, what can I get you to drink? I recommend a whiskey. Well, honestly, I would love to have one, but I'm on duty, so no thank you. The hell, ain't you a choir boy? <laughs> All the more for me, I guess. Hey, run down, will you, and get them to restock this bar? There's only a couple left. Sure thing. Mm. Can I ask you a question? Is that <laughs> the love of my life? It's, it's Jezebel. Yeah, buddy, the one and only. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I was, I saw you on stage, man. Uh, Oklahoma City, it was about 15 years ago. I remember this fan came up and tried to run off with her. It's crazy. Hell, I remember that, man. That big old roughneck nearly tore my head off. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, buddy, we've been together, what, man? 30 years now. She's the only thing that's never let me down. Mm. Well, you got right back up on stage and you sing, Lone Wolf. Did a pretty damn good job of it, too, if I do say so myself. Uh, Tell me something, man. What? Why'd you stop playing that song? Yeah. Yeah, hold that thought, Cora Boy. Oh, nature's gone. Those are empty. You can throw all them away. Couldn't help but notice this. Painkillers is pretty high dosage. Well, back injury, buddy. Tolls of being a performer. It's yeah. a lot of bottles. <laughs> I've been on the road a long time, you know, I'm doing appearances. I always stock up. Also, couldn't help but notice there's somebody else's name on the prescription. Yeah, it's an alias. You know, it's a. Uh, Celebrity thing. And I gotta use it so they don't start writing up about me being all old and crippled. Yeah. But you worried about my choir boy? I'm just doing my job. Hey, your job is to keep me from getting kidnapped, man. Not to be my nurse, man. Mm. Look, it's empty. Nothing to worry about. They're gonna send up someone soon to restock it. All right. Well, hell, instead of waiting, I think it's high time we find ourselves a bar. What do you say? Why don't we take it easy tonight, August? You know, jet lag and everything. Oh, man. Oh, why don't you earn your keeping that for both of us then? Actually, no, he's actually right. It's probably safer to be in a controllable environment. Fine. We'll go down to the hotel bar then. How dangerous can it be? Well, crowds, multiplexes, alcohol. All right. Well, I'm lucky I got you then, aren't I? Come on. First ring's on shield.
So what do you think? They're different. In a good way. Good, different. I got tickets to the August Crow concert. I want to make sure I look the part. OK. So what do we have on this crew who's trying to grab him at the airport? We ran the plates on their van and got back a name and an address. It was registered to a Chito Mercato over at Manila. Good. I want you chasing down every lead on this one, huh? There's a real opportunity for us. An opportunity, Chief? I can see the headlines now. Hmm? Kidnapping ring targeting international celebrity thwarted by Cebu detectives. Huh? This is a kind of case that can make a career. Just make sure you don't mess it up. Uh, come on. This is the exact opposite of control. Relax, choir boy. Have a little fun. Get another one of these. Oh, oh, oh hey. Hi. Oh, I think we're all right here. Hey. It's August Crew, right? I'm close, yes. Come and join us. It's my I'd birthday. I'd love to. It's your birthday? Yes. All right, then. Might as well get used to him ignoring you. Well, he's a tough bull to corral, isn't he? I give you that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Thank you, partner. I've been managing him for 30 years. And by managing him, I mean letting him do whatever he wants, whenever he wants. Because guess what? He's going to do it anyway. Thank you so much for your cooperation. Hello. I've confirmed her story. They reported that the van was stolen on Saturday morning. No, she was clearly upset. Not much to work with. Hey, maybe we should have double checked the footage from the airport. Maybe we missed something. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! I think you had enough, man. You ready to call? Oh, man, the party just started, buddy. Drop the weapon. It's not a weapon. It's a pen. I just want August to sign my shirt. I went to that tour. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, he was great, right? He's great. Hey, where's August? We're out of here. I think he took off. What? He, he took off. He does Where that sometimes. He... Does this have anything to do with the pills? You know about that? I know that he has a problem. If he got out, he could be anywhere looking for more. I'm gonna need a ride. <laughs> Taxi! That's right. Stop here. some money for the rest of us, cowboy? Huh? We saw that wad of cash you were raving around. How about I cut you open and see how much money you got? Huh? No. All right, boys. That's enough fun. Go on home, August. No, 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 I don't think so. He run up a big bill. Maybe you pay his bill, too. No, I'm not going to pay his bill, OK? Just walk it off. August, get over here. And if I don't? What's she gonna do? Huh? I'm gonna break your kneecap. Then I'm gonna snap your right wrist. And I'm gonna take that knife away from you. And I'm gonna finish your boys off with it. And there ain't a damn thing you can do about it. I'm scared of you, huh, boy? I know you're scared of me. Your forehead's sweating, your fingers are twitching, you're having trouble swallowing. You're about to crap your pants and run away. Or you're about to do something really stupid. What's it going to be, Benoit?
you better hightail. August. to be in a hospital under observation. The press found out he could be ruined. He has a very wholesome image I need to protect. Is he gonna be okay? Is he not gonna be okay? I think he threw up most of what was in his system, so his stomach doesn't need to be pumped. Thank you. I'll look after him. Dr. Patel, thank you for coming here. And for your discretion. When he wakes up, tell him to stop living like a rock star, or he's going to die like one. I think it's about time I got off this train. You need to get him home, you need to get him cleaned up. Wait, you're leaving? You can't help a man that doesn't want to be helped. Listen, between us, August has had a rough decade. His wife left him, and then his second wife left him too and took the kids. He doubled down on the drinking, then he hurt his back and started in with the painkillers, all of which would make great material for a country song if he wasn't struggling with a 10-year case of writer's block. He had a relapse. A lot of recovering addicts do. But playing a show here gives him a chance to turn a new leaf. It's his comeback. We just need to get him on stage so he can feel that magic of performing again. Then it'll all turn around. How I look, Warmore? You look good, August. Uh, I wasn't asking you, I was asking him. You look like hell. About time something was honest with me. <sighs> yeah, I like that whole Billy Jack thing you did for me back in the alley there. You gave us a real scare. Ain't no disrespect, Shelton, but uh, I like a moment along with Alex here. He's ill. Like I hear Brock Bottom. I'm gonna tell you it's uh, dark and lonely here. I've been to that place. How'd you get out? I left it all behind. Escaped to the Philippines. Got myself a little place on the beach. I cannot say I have found serenity, but. Help. Well, that sounds nice, man. Sunshine on my face. A breeze at my back. Mm. Did she say you take me down there? To the beach? Oh, no, the doctor says you need to get some rest. Oh, hell. It takes more than a near-death experience to put this old bull down. No funny business this time, I promise. No booze, man, no drugs. It's you and me and Jezebel over there. What do you say, choir boy? We've watched this a hundred times. What are we missing? Without a witness to the van theft, we're out of luck. Maybe not. This kid look like a country fan of you? If a compo can cram his feet into a pair of alligator boots, I wouldn't put it past anyone. I don't think this was about the hat. They're trying to lure August out into the open. He's working with the kidnappers. The distraction con thieves pull on tourists all the time. Take something, let the person chase you. Somebody else steps in and steals the luggage while they're gone. Except they didn't want to steal the luggage. They wanted to kidnap a celebrity. Howdy, cowboy. 
Going somewhere? How does it look? Ridiculous. That's hurtful. What do you think, kid? I think you're screwing with my business. That the one where you shine shoes or steal from tourists? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about how you ended up with an authentic Texas-made cowboy hat with the owner's initials inside. Well, maybe he gave it to me. Well, I guess we'll just have to go down to the station so we can ask him. Oh, okay, okay. Fine. What do you want to know? We know you took the hat. We just want to know why. Oh, my girl thinks cowboys are hot. <laughs> You're a funny guy, huh? <laughs> come on, come on. Okay, okay, okay. One more chance. Some guy paid me $10 to grab it off that American's head and run for the exit. What guy? I don't know. He has these weird messed up ears. Messed up ears? You know? The one where the girl squashed up? Like a boxer. Cauliflower ear? Sure. Huh. Anything else? That's it. That's all I know, I swear. All right. Stick to shining shoes, kid. Hey! What about my hat? See on me? It looks stylish. Take it easy. Easy down. Oh. Pain medicine wearing off. I think I would have been better off dying. Well, then I apologize for saving your life. I could be up in heaven right now playing with Merle Haggard. Instead, I'm stuck here with you. Well, that ain't so bad. Those people would miss you. Would they? They'd miss your songs. I haven't even written anything new in years. Yeah, and why not? Man, I guess I'm scared. You scared of what? I'm scared I'm no good, man, that I never was. You know, back when I was still on the cover, I did an 18-month operation in Columbia. Yes, sir. A year and a half of pretending to be somebody else. No one to rely on but myself. And you know what got me through it? What? The lone wolf. Man, the whole idea behind that song is, you know, look at me. I'm a badass on the road. You know, I don't need no one, don't need nothing. I mean, I'm tough as nails. No one can hurt me. That's exactly why I liked it. Yeah, but the whole thing is bull, man. I just use that to justify the fact that I pushed away everyone who's ever cared about me. It's always a lie. That's why I don't play it anymore. You know, the moments that I felt truly alone out there, Having that song in my ear was somebody was there with me. I mean, it made, it made me feel like somebody knew what I was going through. Really? Really? Well, I'm a lone wolf, baby, never part of the pack. I got 10,000 miles of heartache strung on my back. Shine in the light of the moon Yeah, but I got better things to do Than stand here howling at you I mean, I just sang with August Crow See, it wasn't that bad, man Well I'll be getting back. Do you think I can get a moment out here alone? Uh, you know what the doctor said. Yeah, yeah, but... I kind of feel like writing something new. All right. 
I'll be right back here if you need me. first opportunity, these kidnappers managed to outsmart him. Yeah, well, your client didn't exactly make it easy on me. August is probably going to end up face down in the ocean, and you're making excuses? No, they're not going to kill him. And how would you know that? Because he's worth more to him alive. Oh, suddenly you're an expert, huh? He's right. The kidnappers are only interested in money. It's a local gang. Always call and demand a ransom within 24 hours. Forgive me if I don't have a lot of faith in people in this room. Mr. Dwayne, I assure you, we'll do whatever's necessary to get your client back. He is not just my client. He's my best friend. And if he dies, his blood is on your hands. We have August's cell. This is the number they'll call. How do you know? Because that's her MO. This a local gang always leaves a victim's phone behind and calls it. The key is to keep them on the phone as long as possible. That way we can... Trace the location, I get it, yeah. You ready? Hello? We have your singer. What do you want? 250,000 US dollars. I don't have that. We don't have that kind of money. We'll contact you in two hours with further instructions. Two hours? That's not enough time. And then your friend dies. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ask for proof alive. I need to know that August is still alive. They hung up. What have you done? August? Two hours, or he dies. But wait. Did we get a location? No, they used the blocker. Can you get that money? I had to take it from August's personal account. That's everything he has left. It's almost time. They want me to take a jeepney to Mirabago Beach, and they'll contact me on the drive over. We'll follow. Let's go. Not him. He screwed up once already. I don't want him to be a part of this anymore. He's professionally trained. Okay, it's all right. I understand. We're going to need you with us. You're going to be fine. Besides, I'm gonna check out another lead. I think I may know where they're holding August. How? The video. His hands and his wrists, they were tied with boxing wraps. The chalkboard behind me and the stool he was sitting on. And that kid at the airport. He described one of the kidnappers to have cauliflower here. Yeah. When I first came to this island, I remember there was a boxing club downtown. I think it may have been closed for a few years now, but I'm gonna go down and check it out. You guys make the drop. I'm gonna see if August mm -hmm. is there. A rescue attempt is risky. Yeah, well, it's my fault that he's in this position in the first place. When the kidnappers get their ransom, the victim is freed 90% of the time. It's the safest way to get August back. Yeah. What about the other 10%? 
Look, if you see him, let us know. Don't go in until we get there. And don't do anything stupid. Who, me? What you playing? Candy Crush? No talking. The hell, I gotta do something. As soon as how you got me all tied up, I'm gonna conversate. Let me ask you, how'd you get in this business? What business? You know, man, kidnapping. <laughs> Come on, buddy, no judgments. I ain't exactly a saint. Counting deaths. Yeah, I never had much luck at the poker table either. Man, this one time, where was I? It was Nashville. Man, I lost my pickup truck when I was holding a full house. Bad, bad, huh? Yeah, tell me about it. Sing one last song first. All right. Okay. Nothing said. All right, nothing said. Okay, let me think. Um. Okay, here's a new one. It's called uh, "Ain't No Choir Boy." I played by the rules for too damn long. I'm gonna roll up my sleeves. And right was wrong. Let's go. Bank robber we took down in Mandawi City. Of course. Go. Freeze!
of the Soloco gang. We are not part of the Soloco gang. We were hired for this. Hired by who? Oh! oh. But I ain't no quiet boy. I said I ain't no quiet boy. No, I ain't no quiet boy. No more, no more. Hell, <laughs> man, that felt good. Why don't you say I'll do another one? You got any requests? Sorry. No on course. Out, uh, turn down death can be pretty inspiring. It's about anybody in particular. Well, now don't flatter yourself. You're not going anywhere. Shelton, what the hell are you doing? Retiring. Put the gun down, Shelton. You don't give the orders anymore, August. What are you talking about? I am tired, August. I am tired of dedicating my whole life to an ungrateful junkie who hasn't written a decent song in 10 years. So you're going to shoot me? You're, you're, you're going to shoot your oldest friend? Friend, you blew that years ago. Now I'm just in it for the money. And that dried up years ago, too. Well, how do you expect to get any green off of me if I'm six foot under? The second I announce your death, the value of your musical catalog is going to skyrocket. This was your plan the whole time. Schedule a comeback show where notorious kidnappings are going on. Hire a few locals to snatch them, and then make it look like the ransom exchange went sideways. When the world hears about August Crow's tragic death, they're going to buy his songs in the millions and make me a very rich man. You're not on the rights to my catalog, I mean, if, if I die, everything goes to my ex. You remember Tennessee? The night you downed two bottles of pills? Remember all that paperwork I had you sign? Of course you don't. But you signed everything over to me. You see, that's one of the benefits of representing an addict. They're extremely easy to take advantage of. Don't I get any last words? Don't worry. I'll come up something good for the press release. Oh, damn it! Come on! It's only a matter of time, August. You might as well make it dignified. All right. Take your best shot. I've always wanted to do that. Oh. oh. Man, I'm sorry about Jezebel. That's all right, buddy, man. I, at least she died doing what she loved. What's that? Kicking ass. What happened here? You know. The usual. You're under arrest for kidnapping, attempted murder. I'm sorry, Jill. Um, but just so there's no confusion, you're fired. your hat back. Yeah, yeah. Thank your friends for me. Mm -hmm. How you doing? It is a small case of what professional musicians refer to as crippling stage fright. 
Yeah. <clears throat> I figured that might be the case, so I brought you something to help calm your nerves. Oh, man, I'm done drinking. It's not booze. OK, well, what is it? Refill soup. You say eel? It is. Like the snake in the sea? Yeah, just oh, man. Trust me, it works. Oh, man. It was only because you saved my life. Mm-mm. Well, that ain't bad. Could use a little green chili, but it ain't bad. And now returning to the stage for the first time in 10 years, August Crow! And I ain't never been good at thank yous. Me neither. Sabu. Been a while. Hey, uh, I want to dedicate this first song to a friend of mine. Someone had taught me that a song can be so much more than just a song. This one's called Lone Wolf. Well, I'm a lone wolf, baby, never part of the pack. Hell, I got 10,000 miles of heartache strung. Back. I remember your eyes shine in the light of the moon. Yeah, but I got better things to do than stand here howling at 